Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. We get the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Bottom of the deck. Not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear or ego, issues, uh, jealousy. Let's also pull some cards from this oracle deck. Let's see what it can offer. Holy love, take a step back and bottom of the deck we have healing energy. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. So your energies, guys, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, which I love considering the sword and rose, Oracle card. Then we get the Four of Cups, your person's energies, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Meeting, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, Nine of Wands, Focus, Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck we have the Death card, which is a revolution, an energy that I personally love, the Death card, because for me it's an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can live an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things more in alignment with wishes and desires. It is also an inner process death and rebirth process, one of the most powerful events that uh, can take place in our journey. It's a shift in perspective in favor of a person. Of course, <laughs> it may need a certain amount of bravery in order to embrace a revolution, but what if the revolution can bring new successes, for example? And so, guys, this seems to be a transition that can be linked somehow, some way, to the Not Enough Oracle card. Because we have the uh, Wounded Warrior in the meeting of the energies, and at the same time, we have the Nine of Pentacles Lady, which is a single type of energy. If in the past, previous connections were not enough, for whatever reason, the take a step back oracle card can be associated to a revolutionary inner process in favor of someone brave enough to dive deeper into an introspection. And it is fair to say that because of the Ace of Swords, some of you have managed to fulfill this process because the Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity. Clarity, truth, revelation, force. Because if there is a knowing about something or a precise goal, there can be a knowing when it comes to the steps that can allow a person to fulfill the goal, to achieve the goal. 
We cannot rush a process like that, but it can be done, especially if there is a, a goal that can uh, truly um, go with the Holy Love Oracle card. This person, for example, can resonate for one's ultimate celebration, a soulful partnership, 1111 card for a lot of readers. The focus, guys, is on an energy of communication. You are perfectly uh, comfortable with that, but you can be on your own, four of cups. Um, you can be a source of uh, tension because of the queen of wands. She can catch the eye. But at the same time, you can be cautious, especially if you have experienced challenging connections before. This person is quite a character in the best possible way. King of Pentacles, honesty, reliability, maturity, responsibility, someone that can provide, someone that is willing to provide in favor of a partnership. The Queen of Cups brings a beautiful feminine power in favor of this individual because they can be in touch with their heart and they know how to give the proper importance to the gestures that are heart-driven. So this can be in favor of a connection. Uh, they can be single, just as um, you guys can be. Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, the beautiful lady, the one that is looking for a fair companion, as I usually say, the one that has no interest whatsoever for connections that are not uh, balanced, not respectful, not fulfilling. That's why the differences can be up for protection. But there is also a knowing when it comes to the moment that can ask for these differences to be lowered. And then we can take action. We have a match uh, between the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And the Knight of Swords can be about rushing in as soon as there is a common recognition, a common realization that a connection can be deserving of time, effort, and loving energies. Let's find out a little bit more, guys. Let's see for you. Let's see the uh, point of view of the Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. The Queen is looking for the real deal in love, holy love. It's kind of like the song, um, Bring Me a higher love. I do not recall who is the singer, but the song is um, pretty lovely. And so, two of cups energy, soulmate one, a connection that is blessed with sincere intentions, deep love, uh, fairness, respect, trust, reciprocal support and understanding. That's why I usually say that this is a chance to grow together with a special person. And it is true that the Queen of Wands paired up with the Nine of Pentacles energy can be about someone that um, can even be highly sought after, but they, this person, so some of you, <laughs> are looking for the clear recognition in favor of a partner that can be the one that you are looking for. So let's see the Four of Cups, guys. King of Cups, emotional maturity. And as I usually say, the point with the King of Cups for me is that the King sometimes can struggle a little bit with the communication part because feelings are so deep under the surface of the water and an effort is necessary to bring them up so that they can be shared. In this case, because we have the Ace of Swords, so no um, problems when it comes to communication, this is about opening up when we realize that we are dealing with a person that is deserving of our uh, complete trust. Let's see your person. Let's see the, um, the two royal figures. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, which is lovely because basically it is a confirmation of what we have already shared about the uh, fine qualities of this individual. They can balance masculine and feminine side um, with a great comfort. Let's see the queen. Ten of cups. They want the real deal also. 
Ten of Cups can go with the Four of Wands on an energy level, Fulfillment of the Heart. Let's see the meeting. Let's see the Nine of Wands, because it is the energy about protection. Strength card, being brave, powering through the challenges, especially if previous experiences were not enough, as we were uh, sharing along the reading. This is also an energy about trust, trusting each other. This is kind of the point, guys. The revolution can be um, fulfilled at the highest possible level when a new connection can allow the two of you to realize that you can trust each other because the lady in this strength card is able to establish a bond based on trust with the lion because she is displaying her most truthful version, her true colors. This is key. This can make all the difference. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower, guys. It is not about the crumbling down of the connection. This is a haha -ha moment. Big revelation, surprise even. The king of wands will take action because basically there is a... There is a realization that even thanks to the experiences of the past, the learning curve now can allow two persons to recognize each other as fair companions and then we embrace the connection. And it is a brave decision, but the reward seems to be uh, quite deserving of the effort, allow me to say. So, guys, some more oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. All right. We get abundance. Ten of cups, four of wands, with the influence of the two of cups. This is about fulfilling desires in the love arena, truly the holy love oracle card. The connection can be a um, source of healing for the two of you when it comes to the not enough energy about the past. This can be a revolutionary change, absolutely. If you believe, well, it is about hope. Hoping for a connection that can truly be a source of fulfillment, a source of satisfaction, a source of joy, of growth, so that we can learn from each other, gain strength from one another, help each other out. Factors that we can find in the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands energies. A partnership that is blessed by the power of the heart of those involved and also a source of courage. Meditation brings answers. This can be the inner process, guys, allow me to say, and that's why that's why the death card can um, go along with the uh, tower from the smaller deck because it can be um, a combination of energies so powerful in the life of a person that when it comes from within, about meditation, about an introspection, about uh, honest evaluation coming from a person, about the experiences, the satisfying ones, but also the disappointing ones, there is a learning curve, clarity can be achieved, and again, if there is clarity, there can be a knowing about the steps that can allow a person to move closer and closer to a higher goal. And maybe the two of you have in common some type of a desire to achieve a higher love. Ask your angels. Goes along. This is quite an opportunity, guys. It is quite an opportunity. You can take your time if these energies uh, speak to you, but... If there is trust, as I usually say, love among other things can grow. This seems to be a set of energies in favor of a new connection between two persons that can truly be transparent with each other. And this can make all the difference. 
So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.